Oh, channel five. Look at this. Oh, channel five. Hey, no, I gotta keep. I gotta keep the mic. Hey, listen. Hey, have you been on our morning show? Hello. Yeah. Well, hey. Oh, you know what I'm on every year. Listen. Yeah, like. Hey. Hey. Listen. Hey. Listen. Listen. Yeah, like. Hey. 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 Have you been on our morning show? Hello. Yeah. What's up? Hey. Listen. What's up? What's up, bro? Hey. Listen. Bro. Bro. Hey. Oh, you know what Bro. I'm on every year. Listen. Yeah, like. Hey. What's up? I wouldn't crawl up there. Why? Okay. Why? Okay, bro. Why? Okay. Hey. Listen. What are those? Bro, 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 bro. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my latest video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video today, please do leave it a like and subscribe if you want to help support me and my channel. Now, the issue is, I can't see many people liking this video. Uh, I've had experience with the Jake Paula crowd in the past, uh, and they can be a little bit vicious, which is why I tried to open my horizons, put myself into the shoes of one of his fans, and try and connect with him on some level. And for a while, I was getting to that point. Uh, I was starting to enjoy his vlogs a bit more, I was starting to see the big connection he has with his fans, but after seeing what I've now seen, I know Jake Paul to be a disgusting, self-centered bully. Uh, he's one of the worst examples of a fuckboy that there are. So he's been popping up in the news a lot recently. He's even been on Channel 5 to do an interview. There has been a lot of reports about his behavior around his neighbors. They are frankly getting disgusted with him. They are tired, they want to rest, but their whole street has become like a circus. Jake Paul is the epitome of being a petulant, self-centered, spoilt brat. He has no respect for anyone, not those that he lives around. He has no respect for his fans. We are also going to be taking a look into Team 10. I have seen a YouTuber who has decided to speak out about his experience with Team 10 and my god, it is damning. So let's start with the interview. Oh, Channel 5! Oh, Look at this! Oh, channel five. Hey, no, I gotta keep. I gotta keep the mic. Hey, listen. Hey. Have you been on our morning show? Hello. Yeah. What's up, bro? How are you here? Have you? Looks like someone's come to help out with our video today. This is my cat Smudge. Smudge, say hi to my fans. <laughs> That's very cute. <laughs> So straight away, he's being a bit of an idiot, being rude to the interviewer, and he's just acting like a child, trying to act cool in front of his friends. Oh, you guys have the truck? Can we, can we do it by the truck? Yeah. In a minute. Yeah, yeah. Let's go oh, by the truck. Oh, I wouldn't crawl up there. Why? Okay. I just wouldn't do that. I want to do the interview here. Yeah, we can't let's do go. the interview up there. Oh, we can't do the interview up there. He's just like, dude, come on. I don't get paid enough for this. Just get get off my get off my damn van. Why? Okay. Why? Okay. Just stop it. I mean, is it just me or does this look like a father trying to control a naughty child? This is a a perfect example of how he disrupts his neighbors' lives with absolute no regard to how they feel about the situation. Uh, it's it's really horrible. Um, it's selfish, and it it shows a new light on Jake Paul, that is just frankly a hideous one. Uh, wait, <laughs> all right. I thought I recognized you from the morning show. Have you been on our morning show? I think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I, I was. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Some of the neighbors, a lot of the neighbors, are complaining. They're very upset. No. Why? Why? Okay. Why? Why? They say that you've created a living hell out here. Uh, that it's like a circus. I mean, yeah, it is. All the fans. I mean, but people like going to circuses, right? Yes, but that's the point. People like going to circuses. People don't like being forced to stay in a circus for their whole life. Dope. <laughs> what do you say to the neighbors though that are upset? Uh, they're really no, upset. No, I, I if honestly. You can't beat them. Join them. No, I'm honestly. Yeah, yeah it's terrible. Know. It's a bad situation. No, I feel bad for them. Yeah. For sure. There's nothing we could do though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there. Dab. Oh, so it's the Jake Paulers' fault 
that you gave everyone your address and told them to come to your house whenever they please. What about the stunt like the bonfire in the pool? A lot of them were really upset about that. So the incident the reporter is referring to is when Jake Paul and Team 10 thought it would be a great idea to set the world's biggest fire in their swimming pool, piling in furniture and setting it ablaze on a hot summer's day. What, what, why Jake? What were you thinking? Why, why, why? There must have been smoke rising through the air covering all of your neighbors' houses you have no respect for anyone. All you care about is your precious ego. I have one question for you. Yeah? What are those? Who are those? Who are those? Who are those? Ooh, oh, the cringe is too much. Bringing up them fresh memes there, Jake. Oh, boy. Bye. I'm now going to show you a clip from Jake Paul himself who is commenting on his neighbours, claiming that they are the problem. The audacity is unbelievable. Hey, the situation, guys. So basically, uh, as you saw in yesterday's vlog, our neighbours hate us. As you know before, they've tried to send us like a legal letter to get us to stop filming the vlogs, which they cannot do. They can't stop you filming the vlogs, but they can get you away from the area. If you're disrupting everyone in that neighborhood, of course they have legal rights. They say that we're like these terrible people and we are a menace. What are they? And you are. It's not like it's their word against yours. There is tons of video evidence of you disrupting everyone in that neighborhood to the whole entire neighborhood, blah, 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 blah. And the truth of the matter is that they are just as bad as us. <laughs> There are multiple times and situations where they are just absolutely absurd. They call the cops on us on a day-to-day -day basis for no reason. Oh, so your neighbors are just as bad as you because they called the police to stop you disrupting their lives. That makes them as bad as you. Setting fires in your pool, creating a huge hazard to everyone in that neighborhood, literally threatening the lives of your neighbors. And they're as bad as you because they don't want that to happen. Are you f***ing serious? Hey, 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 listen. Hey. They call parking enforcement over to give us tickets. I think last week we had over $1,000 in tickets for parking our cars in the street in front of our own house. They cuss at the Jake Paulers, like little 12 year old, 13, 14 year old you guys. They cuss at you guys, telling you to go home, telling you guys that you are idiots. <laughs> Well, it's not right of them to call you idiots or to swear at you, but um, for one, I think that's an over-exaggeration and a probable lie. Uh, secondly, when you have hundreds of people swarming around your house 24-7, not allowing your neighbours any bit of peace, I would get a little bit upset as well. I think it's probably your responsibility to stop uh, inviting your fans to your house. It, it's not good for anyone. It's not good for your fans because they turn up and either get disappointed or realize that you're just a fucking moron. Which brings me on to this next clip. We're going to be taking a look at Team 10 destroying one of your fans uh, pieces of clothing. You just have a big blur over you on the whole vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. So if it wasn't enough to single out this kid and bully him for the apparel that he has on, uh, he goes one step further. This is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen on YouTube. Yes, that's right, a fully grown man just took a child's jumper and stamped it into the ground because that's a reasonable thing to do. 
because that's a responsible thing to do because that's a good example to set for your young audience you're a piece of shit fucking human being and the rest of team 10 you're just trash i'm afraid you are just trash and before any of you jake paulers comment on my video saying oh, well you're just jealous because he's got more subs than you oh you can't say shit about youtubers with more subs because that makes any fucking sense i can i can criticize whoever i want thank you very much i don't need to have a certain amount of subs so finally i can criticize overlord jake paul <laughs> don't be so stupid don't be so ignorant and finally we're going to finish this off with the worst bit of information I've heard about Team 10 so far. This is coming from Mick Mayo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But this guy was starting to get involved with Team 10 to become a member. And the further he got involved, the more he realised that Team 10 is just a bunch of slaves running for Jake Paul, doing everything he commands, and then we get into some weird, weird stuff. Hey guys, what's up? So, um, I had to do this. Um, I have no remorse doing it at all, um, which is good. I just wanted to expose Team 10, give you guys an insight of what they really like. Him hanging round, around you, you're hanging round, yeah, you're there too. I was with Team 10 a lot of the time. I was in LA for three months. Um, my first full month, I went out to dinner every single night with Nick Crompton. I was chilling with the whole team. And then I got to learn a lot about them in that time and a lot of the things you see from behind your phone just aren't the truth and there's so much about them that you guys really have no idea about. How about him in the nude if that's what you're into? And I just wanted to like bring you guys into some of the details and show you why Team Tanner just a bad group of people who um, reflect negative energy. To start with, let me give you a bit of a background story. So before LA, I started talking to Nick Crompton, the COO um, of the company. About two months before LA, we were talking almost every day, FaceTiming every day. Now with this video, like I'm gonna provide you some screenshots. I'm not gonna show you too much. There's different levels you can bring to this. Um, and I'm just gonna give you an insight. Um, whether you choose to believe me or not is entirely up to you. Some of you Jake Ballers, I'm sure are gonna back in Jake Ball and not care what I say, but I'm just talking out of um, honest experience. You guys saw me out in LA. Um, a lot of you came up to us and we were having dinner, uh, places like the Grove every single night, um, and asking me questions like, why am I not in Team 10? And honestly, I wanted to spill the answers with you guys, and it's, it's finally time I can do that. And especially with these terrible songs that they're coming out with recently, like um, the way they diss other people, I feel, I feel like uh, I have a right to give back and just show you a behind the scenes look, which I'm sure a lot of the higher end influencers can't do, and um, it's a good opportunity for me to do that. So enjoy. So, um, I went to LA in February. I met with Nick Crompton my first night in LA. We had dinner, it was really cool. Um, bear in mind, I'm straight, Nick's gay. And that kind of formed a bit of a barrier right from the outset. Um, he was only interested in um, signing me to Team 10 if he had certain things um, I did to make him happy. And obviously that wasn't gonna happen. So um, we never came to an agreement. And that's basically the main reason behind Team 10. I'll show you some screenshots up here. Um, why? And I mean, it kind of sucks, but it's just the truth, and that's how they roll. My first week, I went into the Team 10 house, I met all the guys. Um, I met Jake, it wasn't very nice. We didn't even really have a chat. He was just like, I know why are you in my house? And I was like, Well, I've been invited in here, so what's the issue? At that time, the um, Martinez twins just got signed, and full credit to those boys, I really love the Martinez boys. Um, so. This guy has had a complete insight into how Team 10 go about their business. Nick Crompton demanding sexual favours or he wouldn't get into Team 10. This is one of the most absolutely disgusting, horrendous things I've ever heard. This is truly terrible and I know I say that about a lot of things but this, I mean come on, did you see those messages? Did you seriously see those messages? That is horrendous. D imagine if, uh, I imagine if this guy was a girl and Nick Crompton was saying that to uh, a female. Jesus Christ, he would be burnt at the stake for saying those things. But because it's a guy, no one notices, gets swept under the rug. This is ridiculous. Jake Paul and Team 10 
You're, you're an awful group of people that manipulate your fans, you terrorise your neighbourhood, uh, you have no remorse for anything you do, and hopefully, at some point, legal action will be taken against you. And hopefully, we won't have to hear about Jake Paul in the news ever again. Now, I actually have a lot more I could talk about on this subject, but I feel like a lot of people have already talked about it before. If you're interested in hearing any more, please let me know down in the comments. I know this video will get a lot of dislikes, and I'm prepared for that, I don't care. I want more people to realise the absolute scumbag Jake Paul is, uh, and how terrible his, uh, his, his posse, his slaves, as Mick put it. <sighs> Fuck me. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching today, guys. If you have, please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to help support me and my channel. Thanks very much, guys. Hey, hey LA. listen. Hey, 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 listen. Hey, listen. Yeah, Lloyd. Hey, 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 listen. Hey, have you been on our morning?